today we're going to work on drawing dragon eyes. Um, this is a continuation of drawing spheres and shading them in. And now we're going to turn it into something just to make um, the practice of shading solid objects, um, you know, a little bit more fun, a little bit more interesting and try to really make that sphere look shiny and glossy like an eye would look um, using shading and highlighting. We're going to start with a pencil sketch and move on from there. <clears throat> you'll need a piece of paper, you need a pencil, and you'll need an eraser because you are going to make some adjustments. You are going to have to fix some things or change some things. Um, sometimes when we overlap shapes, we need to erase what's underneath. Um, every time I draw these dragon eyes, they look a little different. So um, here we go. So. Um, Drawing a circle to start with to create a sphere for the eyeball, you might want to um, keep your hand steady on the paper, not in midair. And I like to put my pinky up for an anchor. And then what I do is I start moving my hand before I even put my pencil on the paper. And then I just start to draw concentric circles. And I think you can see it. I'll draw a little darker, but you should be doing this very lightly, making really light gray lines, okay? So that you can change it if you don't like the way it's coming out. So it takes a little practice, but if you keep your pencil still and you just move your hand in a circle or your arm, my elbow's moving too, um, you should get a nice circle, okay? From there, we wanna start to create the opening of the eye around the eye ball. Okay, and I'm just gonna come to like a point, like a teardrop. And then if you wanted to, you could put the corner of the eye here. I didn't put that on the other one. Okay, so now you have uh, the opening of the eye based around the eye. And this eye is fully, completely open. The eyelid's not covering part of it if you wanted to bring this lid up a little bit. We could bring a lid up so it overlaps the eye. Now the eye looks like it's really sitting in the bottom eyelid. So it looks like it's underneath. So that's, remember I said we need our eraser because any overlapping shapes, you want to erase what's underneath. So there you go. So simple, it's a circle. And then we're gonna start to draw eyelid, top eyelid around the eye. And it follows the same kind of shape. And then I'm gonna bring it around. And I'm gonna end over here for now with like just a wiggly line to connect. And then I might even add some more wrinkles into the eyelid area create another fold of skin. Okay. Um, then I might want to throw in some spikes. And in this one, I drew these, um, I started to draw some scales and then I started to draw some spikes, large ones coming out, but let's try some skinny ones. So we can even have them come out out of here like eyelashes. So if I do three, first I'm starting with three lines. And then I'm going to turn them into a very long, skinny cone shape. First, I'm going to draw a second line to give it a thickness. So it's like a thick eyelash growing out of the skin. And then I want to round the bottom. So now it looks like a curvy cone shape. And I could even put like another shape around it to make it look like it's more raised off the eye um, the eyelid okay again erasing overlapping so anything you overlapped that's underneath your shape you need to erase okay so it looks like it's really popping out because you don't see the lines running through the back of this and the next thing I would do is I uh, figure out my pupil for my eye so I know I want it to be in the center of my eye so I'm gonna draw just an X or cross this way and I'm gonna draw like a diamond in the middle of that. 
and I can, once I like the shape, I can make the outline a little darker. I want it to go almost to the top and almost to the bottom, but not quite all the way down. And then I'm gonna draw another circle here that kind of attaches to the top of the eye, and that's gonna be my highlight, you know, for when I wanna start shading in. And I can just show you here. You don't have to do this just yet, but shading in my eye. Now I drew the corner of the eye over here. We didn't do that in class, so you don't need it, but I can put some texture. I can make like little warts and bubbles to create the texture of some <clears throat> skin underneath the eye, the eyelid for what, like when it closes. Okay. And then I can start to darken up my lines that I want to definitely keep. And I can do the same thing over here, adding these like texture, bumpy bubbles, circles, okay? And then, so on this one, if you just have the teardrop shape, you're gonna wanna come back in and throw in just this side of your sphere so that you see the round eyeball. Okay, or the iris. Really, this is the, just gonna be the colored part of the eye. So this is gonna be the iris and the rest of the eyeball is really here. And then this is the corners of the eye. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start to put some scales in. And you're just gonna use some lines to create shapes. And as I get to this, the corner of the eye, I start to make them a little smaller and they could even look like a petal of a leaf or it could look like rounded bricks and maybe something more triangular up here. It's up to you. And then moving on to like more of a rectangle shape and then really morphing into like an organic shape. That's not really a recognizable shape. These don't have to touch, these are overlapping. So you can leave a little space in between some of these, but then you can start creating some scales that touch like bricks or rocks in a stone wall. And then just alternate. So that's one way to make some scales. Okay, this is another way where you just take your lines and you start to alternate them and they can start to get a little bigger and bigger as you go. So now I'm gonna just put it in time-lapse mode so that I can finish the sketch.